Aspen Institute reports, the global handbin market is 32 billion US dollars per year. This sector constitutes the second largest employer in the developing world after agriculture. Hi there, my name is Queen Uabofu and you are welcome to Crafty Hands with Queen, the show where we spotlight the craft, the crafter and the craft work. On today's episode, I have an amazing guest whose works are as amazing as her personality. Her name is, mm, I'll tell you after this break. Welcome back. It's still Crafty Hands with Queen. If you're just joining us, it's okay. Let's go on. My guest today is an amazing fashion designer. I admire her work so lot. Now she runs a ready to wear um, fashion brand. She also makes wedding dresses, like the really amazing wedding dresses. She makes children's party dresses, ball dresses and the likes. Don't worry, you'll see a lot of that soon. Now she's no other person than the amazing Victory Chijoke of Grabet Fashion House. You're welcome, Victory. Thank you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, she, what, she, she made that dress she's wearing. <laughs> so let's talk about this dress. This okay. is lovely. Thank you. Is this part of your collection? Do you yeah. have a collection on this? Yeah, so it's um, it's something we introduced. So because, as you know, business is something you want to really, first of all, test the market. You don't want to just make um, things and just have it just stored up in your store. In your store yeah. So what we do is we, we create a piece or two. And then we test, test the it. market, you know, throw in pictures here and there, right. you know, make that noise like, oh, this is available for pre-order, you know. And right. then when we begin to see interest, it right. now pushes us to now go into make making more. more. Yeah. Uh, okay, first of all, <laughs> let me give my own review. This is amazing. Thank I you. I love the sleeve. I love the buttons. Thank I love you. the shoulder area. Thank it's perfect. You. <laughs> you can go ahead Thank and create so more. Much. It's really lovely. Yeah, and I'm sure everyone looking at you right now, Love the dress. <laughs> now let's talk about Grabber Fashion House. Yeah. Hmm. You have built an empire. Oh. I visited a showroom <laughs> and I was taken away. Like, gosh, so much organization, everything is just in place. Now let me ask, did you always know you were going to have Grabber Fashion House or was this something that came because you were idle or how, how, how did it start? Okay, so basically, fashion was really not my first love. Mm. Yeah, music has always been. I always Ooh. tell people that I love music. You sing for us today. Okay. So basically, I actually loved music, right. and I went to a mu music school. Wow. I chased it like, you know, but in Nigeria, if you don't have so much mm. money to push yeah. music, man. Yeah, that. You know, so um, my husband actually encouraged me to um, try out the fashion industry. And it was never, ever, like, I never so saw never myself, yeah, you know? So I just decided, okay, let me give it a trial, you know? And then I started, and after, um, I think, the first year, I got tired because, you know, when you're learning something new, mm -hmm. it's like taking you from where you're not used, where you're used to, to where you're not used to. And uh, whenever I go to class those days, it felt like I was in, like, a dollar. <laughs> Wow. You know, yeah, right. because a lot of people, when they ask questions, you see a lot of people mm. ask, answering the and me, of the I class. Do nothing <laughs> like, I was just looking at my end of the class, oh, more my head would just be going, yeah, bam, 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 bam. I can't do like, this. Oh my God, are you sure I'm going to do this? Right. You know, so it, 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 it was a bit challenging for me. And I, I think I, I, I started and got back again, and then I ran away again, you mm. know, like twice, several, um, experiences that got me out of it you know but then um it got to a point where i knew that um i actually went i started working i worked Much. for a while but then i it got to a point where i knew that mm. i had to do something right. with myself you know I, I was at this point in my life where it felt like i was totally dependent on my husband mm. he wasn't complaining but, but then... the one that shook the day that actually that was like a wake up call for me was when I needed to cook, all right, and there was no matches hmm. in the house. Wow. And I needed to buy hmm. just a matchbox. And I searched everywhere, not even 20 naira to buy, you know. It dawned on hmm. me like, you know, you know when like they say a scale was removed, mm. you mm -hmm. know, from the eyes, you mm. know. I just sat down, I cried. My God. I cried like, no, this is not the life I want to live. Right. I want to be able to at least support the family. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to support my husband. I didn't right. want to be totally, you know, that's when I started praying and asking God for 
guidance and wisdom mm. and then you know they will always say what do you have what do you mm. know what Where do you do have you, what do you have in your hands right. you know? and right. then I started asking myself okay why did I even run away from this fashion in the first place and then I had to go back I started doing researches all the things that I was finding difficult doing you know I started doing lots of practice and that was how I took it more seriously and when I began to see the result I was getting I started falling in love with it you know so anybody you know i always hear people say oh fashion i've always been a fashion i've never been a fashionista person. if I, if you ask me i always say i'm a tomboy i think i think i agree with you on that i agree with you on that yeah we I know why to, i just to wear my top wear my jeans you know, and just you're on the go out, you know but right then as we grow and we begin to um experience ourselves we right. need to also be our, our own brand ambassador of course so we need to also look the look path, what you do. You know, look the part. So that's what started this. Um, and that's, this and you're doing an amazing <laughs> job, really. Thank you so really. much. So um, where you are now, yeah. where do you hope to be soon? Okay. I mean, given the fact that, let's say, you have all the funding and all of that, yeah. where do you see Grabeth okay. in the nearest future? Okay. So I see Grabeth Fashion House across the globe. Oosh. You know, Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so across the globe, not just um, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to have stores across the globe. Beautiful. You know, I want to be able to serve international companies, businesses, you mm. know, um, big. I want to be known as one of all those very big, big. brands, you know. Now, sorry to yeah. cut you in. Let me butt in there. Um, okay, so you want to be known as a big brand. Yeah. So I, I like I mentioned earlier, yeah. you do the ready to wear, yeah. you do children, and then the wedding dresses. Now yeah. your wedding dresses are exceptional. Thank you. So which of these would you say is your main part? Okay. Would you say okay, for instance, oh Grabeth, when 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 they mention Grabeth, yeah, I want to think about wedding dresses, okay. or you want it to be that when it mentioned grabbers, just all around fashion. Okay. So which is which is which for you? Okay, so um, when when we think about grabbers, I want them to know us for wedding dresses mm. and kids' ball dresses. All right. all right. Wedding dresses and kids', kids ball, ball dresses. dresses. We do other things on the ground, mm. but then I want our brand to be known for you know, glamorous dresses, mm. you know, you want to get married and you want something beautiful and unique mm, with right. big rabbit. You want to right. do your birthdays, um, right. anniversaries, and you want Fantastic. to look exceptional you with think big rabbit. you know. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> now, let me ask you this yeah. question. I mean, a lot of people would want to know, really, yeah. really. So how are you able to find fulfillment in what you do? I mean, a lot of times, you know, there's this thing about you want more yeah you want to do more yeah you want to see more there's yeah. more for me out there yes it's my passion yes it's what i do now but i feel like there is more yeah i feel like maybe i've not found my purpose yet mm -hmm. so how do you find your purpose in your craft how do you find fulfillment in your craft now we can take an accept from you yeah. you can use yourself as a you know as an example but how do you find purpose and fulfillment in your craft okay so basically i find fulfillment when i train other women like mm. me all right because i'm coming from a place where i know how it feels like i'm totally being dependent on someone right. Right. without being able to um if you want to maybe buy something for yourself or you want you to even surprise your husband you, right. you know you can't do that so mm. i know how it feels like to want to do more mm. but you're not capable right. so um right. i find fulfillment in encouraging women in empowering mm. themselves so that's where my trainings come in wow all right and so, our trainings are super <laughs> affordable like you i'm know? like what? come on please go you on know, so why i am super excited when a client comes in trying their outfits and mm. they are turning around and then they are dancing they are very happy and while they are doing that i'm super excited but what gets me really excited is when a woman like me points back at me and says that this woman mm. helped me to find purpose mm. this woman helped me to find oh, because okay. um one beautiful thing about our training is uh, we don't just depending on the person do because some people they just want to learn the skill and they're out why some other people i have community where we there you're, you're there in the community you ask Mentoring questions you know? as well i've noticed that it has it grows from okay so i have the, the very first set of people right. who enrolled like the first two years or 
oh, first two years, all right, of my training, I have some of this cluster of women in a group. And we have grown from just talking about how to sew this and how to sew this to wow. talking about personal issues. Sisterhood. About, yes, sisterhood. You sisterhood. Know? I call it the Grabbed Sisters. Wow. You know, so we've grown. So whenever I come into the group and I see women share their experiences, mm -hmm. ask for help, ask for this, you know, there's this fulfillment I feel like, oh my God, if I hadn't started this Much. i'm not sure these women will have like a, a, a safe place to be able to express their wow. challenges that's and amazing. seek for you know so that's, that's actually where i find my wow that's amazing <laughs> thank you so much victory okay so before we go on let's take a quick moment to view some of victory's amazing works and i'll see you right back It's still Crafty Hands with Queen, and I am still your host. And I still have Victory of Grabbed Fashion House, yeah. and it's still an amazing time. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going over to a games, and now this is my favorite part. I love this part because I get to test my guest. <laughs> now, this is how it's going to work. Okay. I'll ask you a series of questions. And you have to get it right, at least half of it. If you get it right, you get my <laughs> gift. Okay. And if you don't get it right, I get your gift. Oh. Okay. Do we have a deal? <laughs> Do we have a deal? I hope so. <laughs> because I'm going to show okay. my gifts. All right. All right. So here's All the right. question. Um, I'm going to say names of African countries and you will tell me their state capital. Hmm. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? All okay. right. Mm. Let's start with your home country. Okay. Nigeria. Abuja. South Africa. Cape Town. Ghana. Ankara. Abi Accra. <laughs> Accra. Accra. Right there. <laughs> Egypt. Oh, is it Cyrus? Abi Cyprus? I don't even know. <laughs> um, Cairo. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 that's four. Algeria. No, 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 no. Pass. <laughs> Senegal. No, no, no. Dhaka. Dhaka. Syria alone. Uh, oh, okay, no, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's got four, so that's above average. So yes, you oh are you are free to get my <laughs> gift. Yay! <laughs> Now, on behalf crying. of our sponsors, yeah. on behalf of our partners, we want to say thank you for coming on the show. Thank, thank you, you for doing what you do for wow. women, for sisters. Yeah. It's amazing wow. that you are inspiring people to be more and do more and find purpose in what they're doing. Thank and you. that's amazing. Thank you so much. Don't give up. Yeah. Don't stop doing what you're doing. There's still more to come. There's amazing things coming your way. I am sure yeah. there's amazing things. <laughs> I will be here so to celebrate much. with you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this beautiful time. It was fun. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. And to our amazing viewers, we want to say thank you for watching. And of course, don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, share this video to your friends and family, inspire someone today with this video. And then when you come back, do subscribe. And to our amazing sponsors and partners, we want to say thank you. From the crew and I, we say thank you. The team is grateful for all you're doing for Crafty Hands and other handcrafters. Thank you so much. Till I come your way again on our next episode, keep being great. Bye-bye. Yeah.